do 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 all right guys old school bad charts podcast and uh, i had this on my radar a while back i did uh, don durette's uh, top 10 but since then don has been gracious enough to give me access to his insane gold stock data.com website just insane amount of work uh, happening there of information no doubt that Don will uh, end up being a legend in the precious metals uh, sector it's just insane the information there so I went and I got his top 25 list so Don has uh, he, he rates them uh, a whole bunch of information there that I can't even uh, quantify it's really really in depth and this is his top 25 list. Well, there's actually 26. So, Don, I don't know why I got 26 in that top 25 search. But uh, without any further ado, here's a list in alphabetical order. So I'm going to, I set up, I decided to use my monthly chart setup because that's the one that's going to give you uh, more value. So if you do a monthly chart, it gives you time. Uh, the singles are every month. Every new candle could be a potentially new breakout single. So it gives you time to to think, think things through. And if in a month or two goes by, you could just be doing consolidation. So there's no rush, no fear of missing out. Like on a daily chart, uh, then you're all over the place. Monthly chart are pretty, pretty sweet spot for me to, uh, to do analysis on. Removes a lot of the noise. And I have uh, what I've been uh, deep diving these days is this is the negative volume index, the smart money, as they're referred to. But guys, it doesn't matter. It's smart money, it's stupid money, crowd money, inverse that to uh, institutional money, fund managers. It doesn't matter. What you want to do as a technical analysis is uh, observe the, uh, the trends, past behaviors, uh, the indicators, how they react, paradigm shifts, uh, momentum shifts you look for those things to confirm that your trend is going to be sustained so forget the labels i know we like labels uh, i use them too but so this is a negative volume index it's so this is price this index moves on declining volume days the price action of this chart uh, this index moves this is it's one year or 12 months moving average so the logic is if you cross above uh, it's one year moving average that's a high high percentage chance that you're in a bull trend and here down here is the crowd money the positive volume index this is the price action movement on increasing volume days and this one the the way i've been observing its behavior it, it sustains so whatever the decision is taken by the smart money this one if it, it's above its one year moving average it really powers it through so when you have both it's a winning combination for uh, to sustain the, the price trend Ooh, already out of breath. All right, aftermath. Monthly chart, guys, check it out. Uh, huge volume de defined base right here. Let me get my brush. Right here, huge volume defined base. Right there. Breaking out above that base. Already creating here some uh, another volume. Ooh. Another volume defined node right there. Consolidation. So this is just perfect breakout, pullback, and we're in the month right now. It's working its way through, consolidating right there. What I like is here, since this, oh, I'm not sure I like that arrow. Make it thinner. Do, 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 do. Now we'll click here. Let's move that or make it thinner. Ah, or small, small like that. Okay, like that. Look at that trading view, remove drawings, bam, get the good tool for the job. Okay, so consolidating above a huge base. This is just the next waypoint. And look at that right here. You're at the trend line. Come on, Pat. We're just at the first one. Okay, I'm going to use better tools, horizontal ray. So right here, we're just about just consulting above this important breakout line right here. So the way I measure my resistance lines or support lines is on closes, gap ups. I'm, I'm not too worried about them. So market here in 2013, that's where I decided to stop. And right now we broke out above monthly confirmed in August, pulling back. See that wick? Decided to close above. And right now we're above that breakout line. So this is a perfect situation where this is going to consolidate and explode. 
And right here, you see that the smart money is has been on the trade going upwards. And I've also noticed that when you go in the above the positive zone, when you have the crowd money also with you, it's very powerful. So for me, aftermath, very, very nice uh, selection in uh, Don's top 25. Can I put a flag? Let's put a flag for green top quadrant. Armarillo Gold. Oh, just turning up right here. Just above its uh, one-year moving average. Crowd money has mostly been in, but right now above since uh, those uh, March, April, May lows. And here is my monthly defined ultimate breakout line right there. And we're starting to creep up towards that uh, $1.44. So I think the big moves are going to happen once we get above uh, that 44 cents. Nothing wrong here. And we're going to have a huge volume defined base right under. A lot. This is, Remember, this is a log chart. A lot of potential move once we get up here. So look, that's another. Let's put down the green ones. Anex, Anaconda. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's put my breakout line right here, or lower. Which one has been tested? Okay, let's do this one here. Here's a nice base, huge volume defined base. See how the we're getting starting to get price increases even on decreasing volume days, and now we're above since May. Crowd money also in, and as long now we pull back towards its one-year moving average. If it could continue up, lots of fuel for this to go up base consolidation above breakout line that's another sweet one there's some resistance here and a little bit here but uh we're on the good side of that uh multi-year uh, breakout line guys so this one is still another green three greens i prove ascot resources to do, 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 do these things the smart money has not liked these mining stocks for a while Still, oh, so it broke out right here above its one-year moving average, pulling back towards it. You want it to see it stay above its one-year moving average and start climbing up. You see how when it climbed up, price action was sustained, especially when you had the, the crowd money. So you had increase in price on declining volume days. You had increase in price on uh, declining volume days. Win-win. Okay, so where's my natural resistance right here? So 255 could be a natural target. Here we have the next so huge, huge, huge base but below us, already vacuuming up, defining another volume node. So $1.33, if we could break out above that on monthly chart, this could vacuum all the way to $2.55. And that's just a smaller picture. After that, you have a huge base, and then you'd have to start uh, zooming out and start doing measured moves in the four, five, six, seven dollar area. But uh, a lot of fuel right here to Let's keep that one. Let's keep in the green for now. Argonaut Gold. So Argonaut Gold has had the favor of uh, the smart money for a while. Hold on. And yeah, had the smart the smart money right here since uh, May, April. And look, even the crowd money has not been on board, but it's starting to. So this is rare occasion where usually the, the smart the crowd money was always in the gold stocks, and now they're getting in. So this should power. It's above its 12-month moving average. This should really power the, the next move up, especially since we have the smart money in. Let's see where the chart tells us. This would be a natural target right here, $3.82 right now, $2.70. And it did break out. It's right here. It's working. Here's a, nat Here's a volume to find support. So it's consolidating above this shorter term uh, pattern base huge volume already starting to slide down so you see this it's stalling so as long as it stalls here it's creating another volume node but if it could keep sliding up i think the 360 382 region should be the next target and look after that after that's a huge base guys huge huge base so this is just the initial move going upwards and after that that measure move probably going to bring us Back to these 2013 highs. Green. Do, 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 do. ASM, guys. I don't think this is going to be a short video today. 
I talk a lot. Okay, so you see ASM, no, smart money never really helped it. So even if the crowd money kept going upwards, this is like a split brain, guys, these two things. So here's a price action, and then when you split price action on increasing volume days, and then on decreasing volume days, you have two brains, two sides of the brain. And this one has been keeping the price action pretty flat or down, offsetting whatever uh, the crowd money has been doing. So we want this to start uh, not quite ready yet. So as soon as the price action starts going back up, upwards above its one-year moving average, that's going to be a bullish sign. Huge volume base. You see, oh, look at that. There's two, there's two important things here. So we did have a nice volume defined base right here. Once we close above that, we vacuumed up all the way to the next one. And right now, we're right above it. So this is a tough zone. You really want that to, to cross. And this would probably be my target, $4 after that. So we're consolidating below an important volume defined uh, resistance node. So not as bullish as the other ones. You like it to consolidate above, but to reconfirm that support, but now we're below resistance. Uh, let's see how this one is. So I'm not gonna put it green, I'm gonna put it, uh, let's say orange. So just a lesser, uh, lesser good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, golden minerals. Right now, if I'm looking at the numbers, 284, 283, it's right closing above. So it's about to cross. It's when you're moving average for the smart money. Finally, after years of uh, not getting that push, crowd money is, all, is still being in, increasing, increasing, increasing. So once you keep getting both, golden minerals, look, see the base, you know that it's trying to do that base. It's gonna go retest at 134. And the third try, probably gonna break up above. And then after that, who knows? And put a line here. Here's the volume node that we're creating right here with that price action right there. So if you want it to slide, it could slide up all the way to $1 for a little resistance there. And then after that, 134. And you have a nice base just below. Do, 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 do. Right here. So we're consolidating still above monthly defined breakout right here it broke out consulting above and now we're creating another volume node i'm still tempted to put this one in the green arcana silver guys whoa this one has had the favor has had increase increasing price action on declining volume days Where's my pencil? Where's my pen? This one? No, no. Oh, here it is, my brush. So right now, closing it back above its one year moving average, very bullish. Right here also, smart money still in. Look at that. Perfect, perfect test, perfect pivot line when you have multiple tests. So this could be a natural target, guys. When you see multiple tests on monthly chart of a price action line, you like that. I like that a lot. And huge volume defined base right here, vacuumed up, creating another base right here. And this one, it's already starting to slide up that volume defined base, already breaking out. So I see this one going all the way to 292. And once we have that, we'll, you'll have a huge base, and then you could do a measured move up there, which is going to maybe challenge uh, those higher levels. But for me, 292 right now is uh, pretty much in the cards. That's going to be a green because you're on the good side of the resistance on top of it. Bear Creek Mining, guys. Smart money all over this since 2016. Have some hard spots here. Closing in here on its one-year moving average. If it could con continue up, awesome. Crown money in since April. If it could continue up and have another uh, thrust like this, look at that. When you have thrust like that, 
look at the price action move really pushes the trend upwards and look at that huge base huge huge base oh but we're a little bit below it okay so right now we're below we're let me remove that one Done. remove okay clear 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 breakout line we're right below it so here we have an intermediate pattern takeoff pattern here that we did close above now we're stuck between a longer term pattern right below it um if this breaks out this one's pretty advanced so if this big base breaks out look at that vacuum up here the measured move is probably going to reach all those uh, nine or ten dollar area right here for bear creek mine that's the natural target probably going to be right here around ten dollars so i'm going to put this in orange just because it's below important breakout line but uh this one if it breaks out above here above 354 above uh, 354 that's definitely going to be a green one huge potential right there all right btr okay btr is the least pretty of some of these there have been scanning where is my pencil brush here it is smart money is not like this but it's starting we're right above or starting to trying to get in so higher lows we could be seeing some hidden uh, strength in there but you need the crowd money to get back above its one year moving average which is kind of rare for gold miners so you see this helped go up offset the 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 smart money when the crowd money is going up here is the volume defined base and we're below it uh, but there is some divergence that could be uh, helping the price action soon but we're not quite there yet for Bontero guys all right so for Bontero I think I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this in the red guys because it's not green it's not even orange it's uh, really embryonic so I'm gonna put it down all right, almost halfway through, guys. This can be worth it. First mining gold corp, guys. And look at that. This one has pretty much had the favor positive zone for the um, negative for the negative volume index, the smart money, but declining. And right now, it broke out above here, consolidated, touching that one-year moving average. And if it could keep going back up, that's going to give a great push. And you see here the crowd money still in and when they're both in above their one-year moving average price action moves up strongly so where are we in the targets two 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 okay so here's a high watermark one dollar eighteen where's the volume defined base huge volume defined base right here huge volume defined base right there here is see th there's like multiple ways of uh, uh, defining resistance or support you could define resistance support using volume you could define it with closes of uh, candles you could define it on the log chart on the linear chart on trend line pivot lines and that's all different type of evidence that you can or you should use to really see where the the majority of the resistance a confluence of resistance or support is right now here's my monthly defined close right here we broke out above in june confirmed consolidating right here above so that's positive positive. and right here there's a pivot line you see that what was what i call a while previously resist support broke down now become resistance now we're testing it it's still resistance let me thin that line look at trading view awesome okay i'm getting thinner so now right now consulting below creating a nice volume defined node and after that once we break out this could probably gonna be a vacuum to 65 or it's a congestion previously congestion area and after that it should slide up to 84 and after that 118. so this one is pretty pretty sweet first mining i'm gonna oh. I'm going to keep it in orange because I would have liked it to consolidate above this next line, but it's definitely looking good. G. 
G G D. All right. Get my brush out. NVI, negative volume index in negative territory, but above its one year moving average, really going up, climbing up. And you see it here. Wow, a lot of strength right here. Positive PVI, crowd money. And you see in the price, guys, when both are in, in sync, you get a strong, strong, strong move. And right now, this is. Right now, squeeze between these two above the support line and then the resistance line. You see it's creating a volume node, but clear skies ahead, guys. GGD, GGD is definitely a green. Sky is the limit once it breaks out above that. Who knows to where you're going to have to do a measured move. It's going to go up, up, and away. GPL. Ay, ay, ay. Hard times here. Uh, trying to... Went above its one-year moving average, dipping below. Let's see if it could go back up. Here's the crown money above, pulling back to your towards this one-year moving average. Want to go up, and you see in the chart that that's the resulting price action. Here you have, or trend line and. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Here's my trend line. Here is my resistance right here. So here is my wall previous support. That's this pattern here. Now become resistance since we're under and we're trying to get back above. We're trying to test it. Huge volume to find the resistance right here. So this one is probably, there's a confluence of resistance before a great path through mining could explode. But after that, look at that, this thing could vacuum up all the way to its uh, $4 mark. So until we get above 115, this one is going to have to work its way through some uh, heavy duty resistance, 115, 125. But after that, three, four bagger in the works, orange. GWA Go West Gold above its one-year moving average dipping below let's see if it could keep going up crown money in it above where is my where are my targets so we're below resistance right here here's a volume to find the node right here we're trying to slide up above and this would be my target right here so first we have to get above this breakout line right here. I can even make another one here. Oh, let's remove that. So let's see. Right there, yeah, it's trying to break out, consulting below this uh, volume defined node, previously candled price action, monthly defined breakout line. So 37 cents is a goal time breakout above that then this should slide to 49 cents previous uh, support turn resistance and after that then we slide up all the way to 219. put that in orange gxs gold source mines crown money broke out here getting close to this one year moving average oh still below its one year moving average for the NVI, but look at that base. It's in the base. It's huge pattern. You see these patterns? So this is a huge base in progress. So this is another test begging to uh, to happen. Here's a smaller base within that bigger base, and we're right below it. And we have volume defined. Um, volume node right here is huge, so we're getting squeezed up. You don't want to go back down. To those six cents level you want to try to squeeze up and go out to 49 cents so nice base right here consulting below an important breakout line we'd like it to have it above but uh, if this can close above uh, 17 17 18 cents then this thing should ride to 50 cents easy orange inv in metals crown money definitely in 
smart money below its one year moving average you want to see that go back up and you see it in the price action reflecting that huge base here not quite ready guys uh, until this uh, makes a stamps in the low and starts going back upwards and consolidating we have to see where the dust settles so this one is definitely i'm going to put in the bonterra type uh, levels not quite ready there mqr monarch gold corp exploding above its one-year moving average for the uh, smart money and even heading towards uh, positive territory very rare look at that explosion here in the crowd money Woo. another one right here Woo. and so monarch right there consulting below an important breakout level huge volume defined base right here so here would confirm breakout out of that volume defined base in june and now hitting that resistance consulting below so let's see and here you see another volume defined node monthly candle defined support so right now it's consulting below an important breakout line so if this breaks out above another one that skies the limit very very nice orange or 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 crown money's in smart money's in insane volume defined base right here insane you want those tight tight long term oh long term consolidations huge huge volume defined base it broke out above, confirmed, creating another volume node because it's hitting some a wall previous support, not turn resistance. Oh, can't go back above, can't go back above. This is the third time, can't go back above. So now it's probably going to want to retest right here. So this is another, so it's trapped. This is probably the low watermark before it turns back up and then it tries to break out above this breakout line. And my natural target. Could be even here at 222 if it goes through that then maybe five dollars could be an ultimate target right there so the last strength even if the price action is actually pulling back right here this is actually probably a good fair entry that all the hard work all that uh people buying here on fear are missing out and now nobody wants to buy here and this is probably a good area of low um low risk so it could probably drip down a little bit more sink through but uh, that's for me is probably a low watermark until that pulls back up. So because it's advanced in its pullback, I would actually put that one as a. I'll give it a little bit more credit for a green candidate, uh, Patrick. Tough one. Yeah, I like the, the the volume indexes. Okay, I'll give it green. Guys, this is not science. I have. Uh, this is art. Look at that positive volume index, crowd money back in, but you could also draw trend lines. And when that breaks out above its trend lines, it could have powerful moves. You've seen it here also. Trend line above its one-year moving average. Beautiful, beautiful volume defined base right there. Look at that tightness here. And even created more volume on the way up and like this thing could slide really up up to 650 premier gold let me get my horizontal ray here's my pivot line breakout consolidation above and after that i think this thing should keep sliding up so if some targets probably for 380 five dollars this thing should be testing these levels so since it's consolidating above, I like that a lot. I'm going to give it a green. Guys, look at my list. Oh, what? Almost there? PZG. Not Premier. Yeah, PZG. Paramount Gold. Starting to see the pattern, guys, where the charts are, where they're evolving. Above, it's when you're moving average. Paradigm shift. Consolidating. Oh, dipping below, scaring everybody, but now back above when you're moving average. I love it. Crowd money back in. This should give it a lot of fuel to drive it up. Volume, the fine node peak, we're just below it. So this is like we're at the pure equilibrium right now of the, the market for the price action for this uh, 
for Paramount Gold. I love these trend lines, paradigm shift trend lines, pivot lines. No, no, yes, confirm breakout, consolidation above, retest. And after that, look at that vacuum all the way up here. Whoa. So monthly defined uh, resistance, target line, then volume node right there. So 160, and after that, maybe 260. This one is going to get a green because it's consolidating above its breakout line right here off of this uh, important trend line shift. And hopefully this thing slides above the volume node. Rio, 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 Rio. Increasing strength, underlying strength in the negative volume index. Breakout above here. Oh, so tight. Let me zoom in here. Yeah, broke out above here, staying above, consolidating close to its one year moving average. Huge volume defined base. Do, 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 do. Huge, huge, huge volume defined base. Broke out above. Where is my horizontal ray? So here's a natural monthly candle defined. Uh, support, which was previous resistance around, what's that level? 66 cents, consolidating above. Right now hitting some more resistance right here, creating a volume node. So this thing is tightening up. Once that could break out above this uh, congestion area right here, then who knows, the sky's the limit. Might hit some resistance right above here at 192, 195. So this one, Rio, I'm going to put it in the orange because I want it. If it would have been breaking out above this, these 2017 highs, I would have really liked it right there. Then it could have really zoomed up. So this one is a work in progress. Spa, Spanish Mountain Gold, guys. What do we have here? Oh, this is very nice. Increasing on declining volume days, going in positive territory above its one year moving average since June 2019. And you see the price action stopped, halted going down once that smart money get, started getting in. And the crowd now when it got in with the trend set by the uh, smart money just explodes up, guys. So these, remember, negative volume index is a trend setter. And the crowd is the juice behind the move. So where are we at now, though? Okay, so here definitely there's a resistance being built. See, we have a volume starting to find some volume right there, volume defined node. Here is the support. Look at that big base move. Bam, explode already. Huge volume defined base. So this was the, the best place to area of Tantor was here. Now vacuumed up. So after this, I think, oh, let me see, okay. So I want this to break out above these two lines, above 81 cents. This is clear skies ahead, a huge, huge pattern. So you got to let those moving averages catch up. Yeah, you stretch away from that to one-year moving average. The best area to enter for Spanish Mountain Gold was a little while back. Real exploded strong, hard to get in on the monthly chart. Wait for this consolidation to work out. But look, we're just starting to create. We're early in the precious bulls market. We're just starting to create these huge patterns which could explode to uh, three, four, five baggers above that. So yeah, this is initial move. But after that, the bigger moves uh, or similar type moves, but they're from a bigger base or right around the corner. Silver one resources. Oh, underlying strength. I like that when the negative volume index is going up. And it just closed back above it. Crown money has been in for a while. See when the pull back, oh, hit that one-year moving average, pull back, oh, hit that one-year moving average, exploding. So here is my support, consulting above a breakout line. Like the chart's not very deep, but this one has its base above a one-year moving average consolidation. I'm pretty sure it's very close to end, being ended. After that 110, uh, one tenth the next target. It's already at 65 cents. 
I'm going to put this one in the green, guys. TLG, three more. TLG, smart money's in, crowd money's in since 2017. This is Troilus. Right now, smart money has been dwindling, but back above its one-year moving average. Same thing here. And you see the price action corresponding. And look at that. This is a huge base, higher lows on the monthly candle chart. So whatever is happening here, the real fun is going to start when this thing goes above 220. Then you're going to have powerful measured moves on the log chart that's going to bring it up. So this just, just, just got started. Here was a great opportunity to enter and uh, in May, confirmed breakout around 114, broke out, tested one, two, three months later, he tested that breakout line. So this is actually a pretty good entry. And this should, I could put that green because it's mostly completed its breakout line. It's getting close to that inclining 12 month moving average. So it's pretty much did what it have to do as a price action correction. And after that, it should go retest for a third time that breakout line and hopefully break it and go on into the stratosphere. Two more guys, TML. Look at that. Negative volume index. No, no, no. Hate you, hate you, hate you. But look at that. Crossing back over above its one-year moving average, consolidating close to it. Crown money also getting back in. And you could even see that they're breaking out right here. There's a nice important trend line that they're really decided to go back in. Smart money, same thing. Broke out above, going to retest. So this thing, Treasury Metals looks really, really, really sweet. Huge volume defined base. Monthly defined, volume defined base, consolidating, 12 month moving average, catching back up. And after that, this thing should start sliding all the way up right here. So to 249. So this one, for me, it broke out. Consolidation mostly done. And after that, slide to 249. Right now, 138. And after that, you see that bigger pattern when you zoom out of, from these daily charts. You get a bigger pattern. And after that, that target. It's going to be 463 and then you're going to have a crazy, crazy huge pattern to drive it really up higher or higher in the precious metals market. So that one's definitely a green because it's well advanced and it's consolidation. A USA, last one. Higher lows, negative volume index, broke out here, but dip below and trying to get back in. So that means it's starting to increase on declining volume days. Crown money. Broke out here, broke out here, and now still above. So I could even do a small trend line right here. And if the crowd money could pop back above this line, very bullish. And same thing here for a negative volume index. So huge pattern, huge base right here on the negative volume index. Here we could have a breakout that could drive the price upwards. See what happened when it broke out above. Price action exploded. See the trend line right here exploded. Oh man, when people start giving up on the on an instrument, that's when usually it explodes. USA huge, important to find support, uh, support turn the wall. So support that broke down, become resistance. No, here failed, here failed, here failed, here failed, here failed. But look at that base. Right now we're just below critical, uh, fair value, important peak, still consolidating, just on the top of the 12 month moving average. So this thing could dip a little bit, but uh, I'm really expecting the underlying strength there would just maybe just a little bit early, but uh, this thing is gonna go tempt to uh, break out above. And look at that huge base, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, and testing multiple retests. The target could be these previous size right here, measure move 26, but before we get that greedy, uh, maybe down here to 13 previous uh, resistance. So these are probably my two targets for USA. I'm gonna put that in the orange because it's just a little bit early. So if, if it breaks, just give it a few more months there and uh, 
it's tight. It could be green because we could assume that it did a lot of consolidation already, but uh, it's on the wrong side of that volume defined node. So I'm just going to wait. So this one is going to be one that might explode a little lower later. Guys, I talk way too much, but 20 uh, to give credit to 25, 26 picks from Don's, about uh, two minutes each there. Uh, it's the minimum I could do to do a, a correct analysis at the minimum. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Doo, 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 music's back. Doo, 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 doo.